The flagship 2266 has a grain tank capacity of 7,500 litres. New though was the John Deere CTS Combine. This is a rotary design originally developed for harvesting rice, but with some minor alterations it was developed for use in all other usual cereal crops. It was dubbed the CTS due to its threshing system which makes use of a cylinder complete with tines. This was John Deere's first entry into the rotary market in Europe and was the shape of things to come as combines of all makes were revamped for the new century that was rapidly approaching. The combine of the 21st century is a very sophisticated beast. All the major manufacturers are producing complete ranges of machines to suit every requirement, with the top end machines continuing to push the boundaries in driver comfort, automation and efficiency. Class unveiled the new Lexion 500 range in 2004 with nine models from 220 to 480 horsepower, with the flagship 570 and 580 models remaining as the only twin rotor models. Later, an even bigger model, the huge Lexion 600, was also added to the range. with the claim of being the largest combine in the world with a simply huge throughput. The large unfolding grain tank extension gives away the fact that this machine is largely based on the American versions built for Caterpillar and uses the rotary separation principle. As with all modern combines, all the machine's main functions are controlled from a single joystick type lever mounted on the driving seat's armrest. Making driving this beast all day an easy and pleasant task. With Case IH also part of the Case New Holland conglomerate, the axle flow combine has seen something of a comeback with the Case IH 8010. Keeping the original international harvester idea of a rotary threshing drum and teaming it with the latest in electronic control and monitoring systems, the Axle Flow 7010 and 8010 bring the concept up to date. The 8010 is powered by a six-cylinder, 10.3-litre turbocharged and after-cooled electronically governed engine, as well as a 10,500-litre grain tank, and is testament to the fact that the combine harvester is without doubt a real monster of the cereal harvest.